I'm Carol Harmer, back in Spain, happy days, sun shining, lovely. Anyway, I'm here this week to talk you through the euro dollar. Now you know last week we went low and we did slightly take out the previous low, but as I explained, we didn't break through any levels on the downside, not really, and you know, the, the market then travelled higher, not much but it did bounce. So let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now you can see here where we did double base as I expected it to do. You're always, always, always gonna get with the algos that we have now, you're always gonna get somebody that overextends on the downside. That is not in question. What we need to do though, you look and you see what happened there the market did try for the downside. It rejected it, the buyer stormed back in, and here we go. Now we've got a weekly pivot point. I, I use pivot points, I quite like them. We've got a weekly pivot point, point at 11.74. These pivot points are really, really easy, as I've explained before. But if you use them and you do them every week, you know, it takes such little time to do these pivot points. They're really, really easy. I mean, the weekly chart you can see, it was blatantly obvious that, you know, markets, they do love a double bottom markets, and this is what we saw. We saw the market double base, up it went. So now what for the Euro? Where, where to now? Well, as you can see, all the weekly things that I use, the ROC, the RSI, the stochastic, we're all on the floor on the weekly charts, but I'll tell you, we'll go pop over and have a look at the daily. Now the daily shows you that double bottom much clearer, I think, than the, than the weekly chart. And also I think what you've got to understand is that even if the market is poised to go lower, always, always, you're going to be buying at a double bottom. To do Fibonacci correctly, you have to have a high point and a low point. So I've taken it, I could have taken it from way back, but I've taken it from where I feel the market started to lose ground in a short space of time. And that was just around the 14 and a half area. So I've taken it down, as you can see, to this base here. Now, I like to draw on my pivots for the week and the day, just because at a glance, I can see what the market's doing. If you look at all these short-term moving averages, I use the 9, 21, 55, and 200. I've also got an applied ADX moving average on there, which is coming in at 11.93. That's quite important. But the important thing, the important point, we need to stay above here. We really need to hold onto this daily, this weekly pivot. Now that moving average, you can see it's coming in, coming in at 11.78, just about here. And that is going to help support the market also. So this is a very simple way to do this. Um, is just to look, see where we are, very visual. What are we going to do? Well, you've got that 23.6 that's holding the base at the moment at 11.87. You've got this line coming in on the daily chart. That's coming in at 12.22. We know 12.20 is going to be a bit of a nightmare to get through. But also, what you've got, you've got the 55 and the 38.2 coming in at 12.36. So I think that would be my upside target if we can break through this 12.20 area. As I explained last week, the downside break was 11.90. If we broke 
we were going lower to the base, that double base that was created. It was worth preempting that that market would stop there, and it did. Okay, and the same rules are going to apply this week. If we can't break higher, if and it's always about an if here, if we cannot hold on to the daily pivot, so say we break below 11.65, you have the option then of the market retracing down towards that 11.18, 11.05 area. That's the option that we have. Now, as I said, that will be, I think, the key level for today and the week. And we stay above it, great. We go below it, we don't really want to hold longs, okay? Look to this 12.20, look for this 12.36, and if we break that 12.36 area, so let's give it a bit on the top side, let's say if we break 12.40, I would am am be amazed if buyers do not come into the market then. And then we'd be looking at that massive resistance that we have up here, okay? And that's at 1260 with the bigger one at 1325. Good luck for the week, okay? And any questions, I'm at carolharmer29 at gmail.com. Fire me off an email and I'll do my best to answer. Okay, good luck. And um, I will, I'll catch you all next week. Thank you.